How do you feel? Uh, I feel um, relieved, uh, excited, but a little bit relieved. Uh, yeah, I mean, happy to be uh, in the quarterfinals here in uh, in Melbourne. Uh, Jen, why why relieved? Um, I was just uh, just a couple of the matches. I was feeling a little bit tense um, closing out the match, especially um, not this match, but the the, the previous round. Uh, just putting a little bit of extra pressure on myself, but um, yeah, I think uh, I mean I shouldn't say relief, like a little bit of relief at the end, but but not complete uh, fully. Then just with the hard lockdown was a massive issue a couple of weeks ago. What's the secret? How did you get through it and others didn't? Um, I mean, I think pretty much everyone got through it. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people were, were complaining and um, I told myself I wasn't going to complain. I mean, there's, there's way worse things going on in the world than me being stuck in the hotel room for 14 days. I mean... We Tennis Australia provided us with a with a bike. Um, the last few days, I had a treadmill. Um, I had weights. Uh, I was able to to train to work out. Um, you know, it was a small hotel room, but you know, I was able to do everything that I needed to do to stay as fit as possible. And um, you know, if I if I started feeling bad for myself or started uh, complaining, I think it would have made the 14 days a lot harder than it was. Um, you know, and uh, there were a couple of us that were uh, pretty pretty positive and and tried to you know each day just just be like okay only five more days and yeah we're out was the mental side the hardest is that obvious yeah i think yeah. so you know just just like i said just trying to stay as positive as possible i mean we weren't the only ones doing hard lockdown i mean every australian that comes home has to do the hard lockdown i mean of course we're we're trying to you know prepare and be as fit as possible before playing a grand slam but um i mean things happen and things happen for a reason so uh, kind of follow-up question regarding the lock, hard lockdown. So uh, before you came to Australia in the off-season, how did you spend? You spend a much time in uh, like a fitness training, and do you think it pays off? Yeah, I spent a lot of time in the gym, uh, working on getting stronger, fitter. Um, yeah, and uh, I think you know coming into Australia, I was definitely feeling really fit, and uh, that definitely helps. You know, if you're not able to practice or train uh, the way that you want to um, I think I don't think you really lose your fitness levels in two weeks if you're still staying you know staying active training um, doing everything you can so um, I think coming in to the tournament being fit uh, definitely helped Nick Jen uh, if you think back to maybe a year ago how surreal is it now for you and Jessica to be meeting in a Grand Slam quarterfinal for the two of you and then also how do you kind of set that aside and what would be your approach to playing her because she's playing some great tennis yeah um i think uh i mean i'm super excited for her making um her first grand slam quarterfinal i know the emotions that she's feeling it's it's uh you know you feel like you're on cloud nine definitely um she's playing great tennis um, we've played before um i think we both know each other so well and uh yeah, it, I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be a lot of fun. I think everyone back home in America will be watching, definitely. And, you know, we're, there's guaranteed uh, American in the semifinal. Matt? Um, Jen, you've won so many matches lately, but I think it's what I've noticed is just the nature of how you've won them. Almost all of them have been in straight sets. And I just wonder if that's been something about your focus or your killer instinct that you've really honed in the last couple of months, maybe dating back to the States when you were winning all those matches that... Um, is working for you yeah I think um, I think you know during the matches I'm not uh, drifting in and out with focus I'm staying present um, I'm trying to win every single point that I play um, regardless of the score regardless of if if I'm down 40 love in a game I'm still trying to come back and win that game so I think you know just trying to stay as present as possible and focus on each and every single game I'm giving myself the best opportunity at um, you know tr making it straight sets and uh, yeah, definitely. I think every match that I'm playing, I'm gaining confidence. And, uh, yeah, there's not much that uh, I feel I, – I don't feel like I have um, many weaknesses on the mental side right now. Uh, on the court interview, you said that going to UCLA is one of the best choices you made in your career. And uh, there's one more 
Bruins, alumni in the doubles uh, in the Shibahara. So I was wondering if you know her in person and uh, also can you talk about the benefit of going to UCLA and uh, maybe disadvantage if it is? Yeah, um, I know Anna uh, pretty well. She's uh, one of the kindest, sweetest, uh, very nice girls uh, on tour here. Um, you know, I'm super happy for her that she's having success. Um, both her and her partner Shugo, um, they're very, very nice people, and um, I I wish them all the best and hope that they continue um, to 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 play well. And um, yeah, I think. Our coaches at UCLA were great coaches, uh, Stella and Rance, and we were, I mean, both of us were pretty fortunate to have them as coaches at UCLA. Um, I left the year that she came in, so I wasn't able to spend um, any time on the team with her, but uh, from from other players on the team and staff uh, also, they said the same thing. She's, she's very nice, and uh, she works really hard. Sorry? You mean St Stella, Stella Sampras, Sampras yeah. Oh, okay. Naomi was in here the other day and she said that um, the US Open semi final against you was one of the top two matches of her life that she's played. And oh, okay. she, yeah, well, I wanted to ask you what you thought when you heard that because obviously you came close to beating her. Um, yeah, what do you make of that kind of assessment from her? Um, yeah, I think that's, you know, I just, I think I can take confidence away from this, uh, this uh, interview uh, from that. But, I, I think that was just a really high quality match from both of us. You know, during the match, I felt, I was like, wow, this is a great match. Like, uh, it, it got to a point where I was feeling like I didn't want it to end. Uh, I was just having so much fun. It was, it was, you know, hard hitting. We were both playing so many good points. And unfortunately, there was only one winner, and it was her. But uh, yeah, uh, I think um, to know that that was one of her top two matches, unfortunate, but also uh, reassuring. <laughs> Okay, we'll take it online. We'll move online. Willie, we'll start with a question from you, please. Congratulations, Jen. I was wondering what your thoughts are as friends, contemporaries, Americans, on the success that the three of you, you, Shelby, and Jess, are having at the same time and what the similarities and differences are among you. Yeah, it's great to see. Uh, the three of us are pretty close. Uh, we're all good friends, and uh, I think Americans are, we have a good camaraderie. Uh, I mean, I think each one of us plays very different. Um, I mean, Jess hits, you know, flatter through the court. Shelby has a, has a really strong kick serve. Uh, you know, I'm looking to hit as many forehands as possible. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's great to see that we're all here in Australia making the second week and um, there's going to be a, an American in the semifinals. How about personalities? What are the similarities and differences? Um, I, I would say they're both a little bit more fiery uh, than I am. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit more laid back. Uh, I mean, they, they are as well, but um, I mean, they're, they're very nice girls. Howard, next question, please. With the uh, the hard lockdown for those two weeks, what would you say was the most difficult part, uh, physically and or mentally, of that time? And what, if anything, was maybe a benefit, which maybe sounds ridiculous to somebody who didn't go through that and, and tries to imagine it, but maybe there was a benefit for you? Yeah, I would say the hardest part was um, there were days when I just didn't want to do anything um, and just trying to get myself just to do something, to move around, to um, not just lay in bed all day and, and, and eat. So, um, yeah, that th it got to a point where there were some days like that. And then um, it, I think it was a little bit of a... Um, a benefit for me, just taking a, a break from tennis. Um, I had been going nonstop since uh, World Team Tennis in June. Um, I didn't take any time off. I was playing from June and then played U.S. Open, the U.S. tournaments, and then went straight to Europe and then uh, finished there and was training in Europe and um, 
then went home for Christmas and then came uh, and started in Abu Dhabi. So honestly, I didn't really feel super fresh mentally coming into um, Abu Dhabi. And then um, when I was away from tennis from t for two weeks, I felt, uh, you know, I, I, I wanted to play again to compete. And um, I, think, I think that that helped me. Okay, Bill, next question, please. Hi, Jen. Um, reaching the, the semi in New York was such a great accomplishment. How did that change you as a, a player and a person? Do you feel more confident now? How are you different as a player? Just talk about that. Um, I think uh, just having the experience of making the semifinals, um, I think today I probably would have, if I didn't, have that experience already today it would have been maybe a little bit tougher uh conditions mentally um for me to to close out the match uh maybe it wouldn't have gone my way to be honest uh yeah i think just just the more matches you play the further you go in tournaments especially big tournaments the more experience you gain and then the more confidence you gain and then it it, it helps you uh in those moments to 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 believe in yourself and to to close out matches Okay, Courtney, last question, please. Hey, Jen, um, just a quick question that's a little bit different, but um, everybody who talks about you describes you as hilarious, um, and you seem to be quite the social butterfly in terms of everybody seems to have some sort of experience with you and, you know, around the tour and stuff. You're in Instagram comments left and right. Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious. <laughs> Kind of what your experience is like, because when we interact with you, sometimes it seems like you're quite shy or soft spoken. But I don't know. It seems like maybe that's not the case. I'm just trying to put on my best image. You know, I'm trying to. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm I categorize myself as a troll on the Internet. Definitely. Uh, I like I like to give people shit. Excuse my language. But um yeah, I, I, I'm always down for a laugh uh, to have a good time, and um, hopefully, hopefully I won't bore you anymore.